Something that I will never, ever in my life say about the NBA trade deadline is that it is a boring day. I did not predict a single thing that happened today, but I gotta tell you, I enjoyed every second of it. Not as a Sixers fan, necessarily, because I don't think that deal for George Hill was amazing. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy we got, we got George Hill, you know, but I think we might have paid a little bit too much for him, and I will miss Tony Bradley severely. But... As an NBA fan in general, it is always nice to see stuff shake up around the league, to see players get traded to different teams, and especially as an NBA fan, someone who has been asking for the Magic to blow it up for a long time, very, very happy that they finally frickin' did it. They got rid of Fournier for frickin' pennies on the dollar because Danny Ainge has blackmail on some of the GMs in the league, apparently. They got rid of Vucevic. He's on a good team in Chicago. Chicago's looking better than ever. And they got rid of Aaron Gordon to the Denver Nuggets. He's gonna help them on defense. The jury's out on how good he's really gonna be. Maybe he helps them a lot, maybe he helps them a little, we'll have to wait and see. But the Magic, in the meantime, got young guys like RJ Hampton, Gary Harris, Wendell Carter. I'm very excited to see what that team looks like in a few years. Fingers crossed, they don't screw it up like they have every other time in their history. But, I already kind of talked about the Magic. Alright, some other small deals going around. JaVale McGee is now in the Denver Nuggets whatever. George Hill's on the Sixers. It's an interesting trade. I, I Like I said, I like George Hill on the Sixers. I just feel like we gave up a little too much for him, and I'm not gonna lie. I really thought we were getting Lowry. I really was convinced that Kyle Lowry was coming to Philadelphia. It didn't happen, so I guess we'll just have to win with the best player in the league in Joel Embiid, two all-star level players in Tobias Harris and Ben Simmons, and a really great bench with a whole bunch of shooters. That's just what we're going to have to make the title with, but that's a video for another day, all right? The big trade today. The big trade today was Victor Oladipo to the Miami Heat. Oh, one more thing before I forget about it. Andre Drummond has been waived, and LaMarcus Aldridge has also been waived. Those are two guys who are probably going to sign with some team. Fingers crossed Andre Drummond doesn't go to the Nets. I don't really like him on the Lakers either, but I feel like he's a perfect fit on the Nets, and I don't like that team actually getting any better. As much as I say that I'm not scared of him, and I'm still not, getting Andre Drummond on that team would make them significantly better, in my opinion, and I do not want that. Take LaMarcus Aldridge. He's another guy who doesn't play any defense, all right? Let Andre Drummond go somewhere else. But uh, Victor Oladipo to the Miami Heat. What a what a hilarious time it has been for the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets took James Harden, and now, a few weeks later, they basically turned James Harden into Kelly Olynyk, Avery Bradley, and Rodney Karuks. That's what they got James Harden for. That's it, okay? They traded Karis LeVert away for Victor Oladipo, and they traded away Victor Oladipo for nothing. For basically nothing. The Heat got significantly better with this trade. Oladipo has been interesting this season. Alright, he's been really up and down. He's still injury prone. We still don't even know for 100% certainty he'll stay with the Heat if they don't give him the contract he wants. But nevertheless, this is a fantastic deal for Miami. They got an absolute steal for Victor Oladipo who could end up being a very good player for them. Meanwhile, the Rockets have the worst front office in the league. Um, for a while, it was between the Kings and the Knicks, but I think at this point, there's literally no debate that it is the Houston Rockets. They have absolutely sucked butt since getting rid of Daryl Morey. They have no clue whatsoever what they're doing. Their team's terrible. They don't have a ton of picks. They don't have a ton of young assets. I have no clue what their team is doing, but they're absolutely terrible. They are the losers of the trade deadline without question. Another team who could potentially be a big loser... Is the, is the Los Angeles Clippers. I almost said the Miami Clippers. No. Miami Heat were huge victors. Magic were victors. Denver Nuggets, I'd say, were pretty neutral. Same thing with the Sixers. They kind of got better. They kind of got worse. Chicago Bulls were winners. The Clippers, however, traded Lou Williams and two second-round picks to the Hawks for Rajon Rondo. Um, Someone want to tell the Clippers that Rajon Rondo was like 40 years old and he's done nothing this season? Now I know Rajon Rondo, he gets better every year in the playoffs. And maybe this year the playoffs will come and Rajon Rondo's going to ball out 
and play like a starting level point guard, and I'm gonna eat my words. But right now, I think trading Lou Williams for Rajon Rondo makes no sense whatsoever. The Hawks basically got two free second round picks for a player who was doing nothing for them, and you know, that's assuming Lou Williams retires like he said he was going to. And then, uh, yeah, one last little tiny trade, J.J. Redick went to New Orleans, I'm sorry, J.J. Redick went to Dallas, and New Orleans gets James Johnson. Very strange little trade there, uh, I expected J.J. to get bought out, or end up on the Sixers or Nets. Interesting, um, it really just shows you how much the Mavericks miss Seth Curry. So I'm very curious to see how J.J. does there, obviously, one of the best shooters in the league, even if he's having a down year. Terrible defender absolutely terrible defender and Dallas could use some more defense so interesting trade overall it was a crazy day um some crazy stuff with the Bulls the Magic the Heat and the Rockets especially the Sixers you know they got some people I I just really enjoyed yesterday all right I really enjoyed as an NBA fan having all the trades go down and I'm excited to see what happens the rest of this season the Chicago Bulls are really looking to make a playoff push now the Magic are officially tanking for Cade Cunningham or whoever the heck else they want same thing with the Rockets because they're incompetent morons I'm excited to see what happens y'all very very excited i hope you all enjoyed the trade deadline as much as i did and i'm looking forward to the rest of this nba season